Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the airbag and the steering wheel on a Kia. This is a Kia Optima uh, 2016, but procedure is going to be similar for uh, all Kias. And I'm going to go over the, the differences because some models, the way that you release the airbag, is going to be a little bit different. This is one of the hardest ones to release. Others are a lot easier than this. But um, first, what we want to do is want to start by turning on the ignition and you don't need to turn it all the way just turn it one click so that unlocks the steering wheel you don't need to turn on the, the, the instrument cluster and the dashboard and any of that just uh, one turn and so you can unlock the steering wheel once you do that the next thing you need to do is you need to go and disconnect the airbag um, I'm sorry the next thing you need to do is you need to go and disconnect the battery so we're gonna go and do that now okay so right here you have the negative uh, terminal that's the positive you need to loosen up this nut right here on the negative it's a 10 millimeter nut just get that loose a little bit then you move this up and put that away you do not need to disconnect the positive that should be enough once the battery is disconnected you need to wait at least three minutes before you proceed to the next step Okay, so once you have disconnected the battery, you wait three minutes, then you come inside, press the horn a couple of times. If there's any residual uh, current in any of the electrical circuits, that will discharge that. Uh, and the reason why you want to do that is because um, this that could be shorts or it could be as you work on the airbags, any any short in the system can cause that to deploy and that can injure you. So that's the reason why. You want to just make sure there's no power to the vehicle at all. Alright, so we have the steering wheel right here. You can look at the side here. There's a hole that goes straight up that holds the steering wheel buttons. That's not what you're looking for. Um, some models will have a hole right next to this, right down there. We put a screwdriver, push that in, and that releases the airbag over here. In this case, you can see there's no hole right here other than the one for the buttons. You know, we're not looking for that. But if you turn the steering wheel now, 90 degrees and remember that's why we left the, the key in the ignition in position one so that we're able to turn the steering wheel like so now right here on the side there's a hole where you put the screwdriver and then you push down like this that will release the airbag now you turn this is the bottom right here so right here we're steering wheel is straight horizontal we can turn it 180 Right here is another hole. That's this screwdriver is a little bit too big, but I'm going to use this and just press down. That released the bottom part of the airbag. Now I'm going to go another 90 degrees on the other side here. You can see again there's no hole, and some models will have a hole right here where you put the screwdriver, but this model does not. So you have to come all the way back here. There's a hole there. And that releases the airbag. You want to hold the airbag so it doesn't just pop off or put any stress on the airbag wires.
So now we can bring the steering wheel back to horizontal and we grab the airbag with care. You want to keep your body as far away as you can from the airbag just in case if just it's mishandled and um, and it deploys because that can injure or even kill someone. So here um, these connectors have a safety lock uh, a lot of times you'll see an orange piece right here you just pop that off these kind of connectors don't have that they have the orange piece right here at the side but if you pull this up like this and then help that come out you'll be able to and it's on both sides so you're gonna have to pull on both of these and then remove that again don't don't allow this airbag to drop and fall. Same thing over here. All right, so that's off. We need to unhook it from this channel right here. I see that just snaps in there. And then we have this wire right here. This is for the horn. That's the airbag. You want to handle that with care and put that in a safe area. Next, we are going to remove the steering wheel. And for this, we're going to need um, a socket for that and a breaker bar. So the next step is to uh, remove the bolt from the steering column and remove the steering wheel. So you need a 21 millimeter socket with an extension. And then the other thing that you need to have somebody hold the steering wheel, don't just lead the, uh, don't let the steering lock kind of hold it. Don't put pressure on that. Have somebody help you with this step. So they kind of hold that while you get this bolt um, loose. And it's gonna be a little bit hard at first to get this bolt loose, but once you break it, Once you break that loose, it should come off much easier. So once you have the bolt removed, what you want to do is you want to get a marker and mark the steering wheel and the column there. So when you reinsert the steering wheel, you don't want to be uh, uh, you don't want to be off center. Those these channel screws there that they just need to line up in the exact same location. Otherwise, you're going to be putting the steering wheel back in, and then you will notice that the steering wheel is going down the highway and the steering wheel is not on center. So what, you can get a marker, or you can even use a flat screwdriver, like this, and mark those both, or you can use a uh, marker. I use a marker, I, I like to do it, mark it in a couple of spots, so that there's no question as where that's supposed to go. So once that's done, then the only, the only other thing is you gotta disconnect this connector right here press press here and then pull that off and then you can just move this steering wheel you just move it left or right a little bit and then it's that simple now you want to reinstall it in the same location exact same way you want to torque the center bolt um, one thing to keep in mind is when you reinstall the steering wheel right here you have the clock spring and you don't want to rotate this clock spring and then put it back on um, because then what, the, the ABS module, you, you'll be driving down the road but the vehicle is gonna think you, you your wheels are turned and you're gonna have issues with ABS light coming on. Um, so make sure that this is in the same location. And the other issue that could happen if you rotate this is that that can turn so many times to the left and the right so if you rotate it and then you put the steering wheel back on and then you start to drive the vehicle, this must trash and break soon after you reinstall everything. So keep that in mind. You don't want to rotate or 
move this clock spring. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.